Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo. Today I'm going to be doing a removal and install of a CD axle for my 2001 Toyota Tacoma. To get it started off fast, tools you'll need are you'll need a 36 millimeter socket, you'll need a 17 millimeter socket, as well as a 14 millimeter socket, preferably a deep socket or have some kind of extension. You'll need some needle nose pliers, socket wrench flathead screwdriver, and a 17 millimeter flare nut or an adjustable wrench as well would work. A six millimeter hex, some blue Loctite, a small hammer, rubber mallet, crowbar, and also a ball joint separator. This will be a, a optional tool if the crowbar doesn't quite work well at removing the axle from the differential. You also need a jack. You'll need an impact gun or a large breaker bar. And you also need a trusty torque wrench that's able to reach at least 174 foot-pounds. That should be all the tools you'll need. If I add anything else, I'll be sure to note it down below in the video description. Let's get the install started. Here I have the car jacked up, properly secure jack stand. I have my jack in place as a safety measure. I'll go ahead and remove the lug nuts. With the tire removed, you wanna go ahead and pull these back clips off for the center piece of your rim. Uh, if you have something like this where it's a factory Toyota rim, you might have some clips. If you have an aftermarket wheel, you may have something different. But just go ahead and remove this center cap because you'll need access to the axle nut later on and I'll show you why. It's a good tip to try to keep things organized and in place. How right, you take them off, center cap removed, the wheel's removed, now I have access to everything I need to remove the axle. I just want to get in here and show you how you see the grease and you see the rip. You see the rip right here in the axle boot. That's what's spewing all the grease. This is why I need to replace the axle. After removing the wheel, your next step should be to remove the axle nut cover plate. And this is removed by just taking a flathead screwdriver and sticking it in between the groove, the cover plate, and this bearing surface, and just prying it off. Take a rubber mallet, flathead screwdriver, stick it in the groove that I saw earlier. Go ahead and finish this off with the crowbar. Get a little more leverage. Here you have your dust cover plate removed. Now you have access to the additional components you need to take off. You have a cotter pin that you need to remove, kind of lock, washer, and then behind all this is where you have your 36 millimeter axle nut bolt. Also take some needle nose pliers and twist these off. You just wanna straighten these out, straighten the ends out. And now just take a small hammer tap on the end of the cotter pin, just so I can get en enough of it out. Take the needle nose, just back and forth, and there it's moving out, and there we go. Here's the removed cotter pin. From here, we'll just take off, we'll just slide off this lock washer. For this step, I'm gonna use my trusty Milwaukee Impact, but if you don't have one of these, to get this off, with just your simple breaker bar and socket, what you wanna do is, remember I told you to remove the center cap plate of your wheel. You wanna re-put on your wheel, lower the car so that you have the weight of the car on the axle, and then use the weight of the car, and of course your emergency brake as a resistance to go ahead and use a breaker bar and socket to go and twist this nut off. I love this thing. Now to get your hub and spindle out of the way, you want to go behind your rotor and underneath. You'll, you'll see one, two, and then there's two on the other side, 14 millimeter bolts. And you want to go ahead and remove these and that will allow you to spin this hub assembly and spindle right out of the way so that you can go ahead and remove the axle. Go ahead and remove these four 14 millimeter bolts. 
You may need to use some kind of PB blaster on this or something. Here's the first bolt removed. Make sure you retain the washer as well. Now I'll go ahead and remove the other three. I'm going to take a rubber mallet. You go ahead and lightly tap on the end of the axle. You may need to break loose your spin a little bit, but just tap on it. You see now this spins right to the side. And here you can use some zip ties or anything to kind of hold this to the side, but usually I don't. Just knock it away through. Be careful not to damage any of your splines. I wouldn't use a hammer or anything right here, just a rubber mallet or something small that could fit in there to push the axle out. Spin this away. And now the axle is ready to be removed. I ran into an issue that I usually don't run into for these Tacomas, but I've never worked on the 03 before, removing the axle. There's not quite enough room to shift the axle out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this little linkage here that's part of the suspension. And this is gonna take a six millimeter hex insert and a 17 millimeter uh, wrench. I'm using a flare nut wrench to make it easier. I'm going to remove that. That way I can get some more clearance through here. The outside nut is removed. See here, I removed the nut from that linkage. Also had to jack up the bottom of the control arm just a little bit just to get some release some tension on that bolt so I can slide it out of this hole. Now that it's slide out of the hole you go ahead and just shift it to the side like that and now I should be able to shift out this axle. Now I'm underneath the car and this is the axle mating up to the differential and you'll see there's a groove right there between the axle housing and the differential housing and this is where you want to stick your crowbar or a flathead, but usually I find a crowbar a little bit easier. Just stick it in that groove and give yourself some leverage. And that axle should want to start moving away. There we go. Axle removed. Here's your new axle. I bought this from CarQuest. Just do a quick inspection to make sure all components are there. I see the snap ring, and this is what makes the old one hard to get off from the differential, but that's on there, so that's good. You have that on there. Boots look good. Spline looks good. As you see, it comes with a new axle nut, and it also comes with a new cotter pin. Now, it doesn't come with a new lock washer that sits on the outside, that gold piece, so just remember to keep that piece that we removed off earlier. Install is pretty much the opposite of removal. I like to keep the nut on the end just so it reduces the chance of not damage any splines as I'm putting it back in. So I'll keep the new one on. Make sure you're putting the snap ring portion in first. I'll maneuver it in there. And then to seat it into the differential, just want to give it a, a slight push. The axle is seated. I'll show you that from below. There you go, let's see it against the differential right there, so that's good to go. Next thing I'll do now is I'll reinstall this linkage that I removed to get the old and new bolt in. The linkage has been tightened back in. Now I'll go ahead and remove this end nut and maneuver spindle back over the axle. Again, that's through. I've reinstalled the four bolts down below here that I uninstalled earlier. Apply some blue Loctite to those 
So those threads, when you install those back, I'll go ahead and just clean off the threads of the axle a little bit. You've got some grime on there. You don't want to mess up these threads. Clean off the threads inside here as well. And I'll go ahead and I'll hand tighten this on. Now it's time to torque down this axle nut. For that, this is why I said remove the center cap to your wheel. You're going to use the leverage of the weight of the vehicle to get it. For this, I'll install about three lug nuts just so that the wheel is on there good enough. And I'll go ahead and lower the car. Now that I have the weight of the car in my favor, I'll go ahead and torque down this axle nut. The torque specification is in the video description below, but I'll also say it here, it's 174. It's torqued down good. I'll take this lock washer here, secure it on there. Make sure there's room for the cotter pin to fit down through there. I'll take the new cotter pin. I'll feed it through the hole that's on the axle. There we go there. Let's seat it in there. I'll go ahead and I'll twist these cotter pin ends. Here's a close up. Here's the cotter pin. It's seated within the groove of this lock washer. Twist it down below. This has already been torqued down. So now it's good to go. Your actual job is pretty much complete now. From here, I'm going to reinstall this dust cover right on here. Let's tap that in with a rubber mallet. And I took the wheel back off because I wanted to do some extra cleanup around here. There's a lot of old boot grease and stuff that I want to clean up uh, before I put the wheel on for good. Now that wraps up the tutorial video. If you had any tips, any tricks, I would love to hear anything that would help this make it a little bit easier. As you saw, I ran into a little uh, snafu, not being able to actually remove the axle past the suspension, but you know, we got it solved. So if you have any tips, please comment down below. Uh, please share, please like if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching. I enjoy learning as much from the community as I, as I try to teach. And this is what we're here for. We're here to help each other out. Thanks again. I'm out.